Hi, my name is Liz Fitzgerald and I'm with Assert Empowerment and Self-Defense. Today's video is specifically for instructors and it's about getting to know your audience before you get into the classroom setting. It's important on many levels. First of all, we want to know what their needs are so that we can address those and their questions once the course begins. But more importantly than that, we need to remember that a vast number of self-defense course participants have been previously victimized or have been affected by the victimization of someone that they know and love. This is important because most of them will not recognize that they have been victimized. Those that do may not be willing to admit it. As a result of that, we should be prepared to having a sort of surprise discoveries along the way during the experience of the class. We need to know how to recognize the signs of PTSD, victimization, fear and anxiety, resurgence of body memories, so that we're able to dial up or dial back any exercise that we're experiencing. And we can also address the needs of the, of the participant at that time. Victim response courses and so on and so forth might be helpful. We need to be able to recognize the signs of PTSD, fear, anxiety, victimization, body memory resurgence, specifically because we may not have all of the information about the background of each of our students. If we're not prepared to have these things kind of dredge up in, during our classroom, number one, we're going to be taken by surprise. Number two, we won't be able to dial up or dial back and address those feelings during the class setting. We must also know how to deal with episodes of triggered response. Body memory in particular is very, very difficult because it addresses their own personal victimization. And sometimes something as benign as a hand on a shoulder might be enough to trigger a very violent emotional response, an adrenaline, an adrenaline dump, and potentially the need for mental assistance. We have to remember that just as we are, so our students are multidimensional beings. What I mean by that is that we're all onions, we've got layers. <laughs> 